Happy day after Thanksgiving. Happy Black Friday to y'all. Decided to do something on a black piece of paper because, you know, it's Black Friday. Um, I was thinking of some sort of frenzied, crazy, weird something. And I was tr trying to do a little Pinterest digging. And I found this, but I don't want to do it this neat and tidy. So Yen Cut has basically a uh, black and like a checkerboard kind of a thing with a curved uh, grid where then you fill in every other one going vertically with a little bit of um, sparkle breaks inside and then um, and then you do the other ones going horizontally and I like the look I like how it comes out like this um, but I don't want a uh, standard grid. So I'm going to make myself a frenzied sort of pattern by using that as inspiration, but doing something completely different. Turn on my light and zoom out a little bit. This is a bit bigger piece of paper than I normally draw on. Still not huge. I think it's about six by six. Let me measure for you. For those who ask, because occasionally I will get, what size paper do you use? Uh, this looks like it's a five and a half inch square. So there's that. I am going to draw with gel pen. Let me decide what color I want to use. These are the jelly rolls that I have, the colors. Um, I'm feeling... feeling the blue one today let's draw with the blue one and I'm going to do something similar to that but I am going to I'm going to just start with a border because I like me a border you guys know that I like me a nice border but I'm going to just randomly stick lines Oops, that didn't draw. Come on, draw. Guess I gotta go a little slower. I'm going too fast. Because I feel like this sort of craziness is what Black Friday feels like. I don't know about in other countries, but in the U.S., uh, although this year I may be better than other years, but I don't know. There are people who just live for and love the back Black Friday sale thing. Day after Thanksgiving, they line up early, early in the morning to go get the one thing that's on sale for like some crazy price. We've done it once in our life. Never again. That was horrible. Absolutely horrible. So I'm going to do uh, that same sort of thing, that checkerboard, every other square. Um, the easiest way to do this, especially when you're doing it in a weird, uh, crazy kind of a thing, is to just uh, do it connecting the... Uh, corners so it would be this square and this square because they connect at the corner and then it would be this one and this one it's an easy way to figure out where you're going next and I'm going to leave some, some sparkle spots in the middle So it's not completely full. I'm going to turn it just because I don't want to stick my fingers in the... I'll go a little slower so I get more ink out at once. I get a brighter color palette like that. And then I'm going to do that on this one.
The sparkle kind of works better uh, on white paper, but I'm going to come back in here and I'm going to put a little shine in there. So then this one's going to go this way. Slow down, get more ink. And then we're just going to fill in each of these. So I was inspired, but similar but different. And then, so I'm going across there, so the next one will be here. Because it's a corner connected to this one. Need to slow down. Gel pens make you slow down. Which is okay. Slowing down is fine. Right? And then this one and this one both connect to this one. that and then this one connects to this one it connects to that one at the corners that and then this one connects at the corners so you guys like to do that uh, go out on Black Friday and do that whole shopping thing um, we have most of our shopping done already because hopefully by Christmas I will have the product in hand. If not, everybody's going to get gift cards. But uh, last year, last year, November, October of 2021, we backed a Kickstarter. Maybe it was September of 21. Anyway, we backed a Kickstarter that we thought would ship, and, and that, granted, the person who created the Kickstarter also thought it would ship by Christmas of 2021. Well, turns out that that person ended up with uh, a much more popular Kickstarter than anticipated, and uh, that caused... Uh, the amount of production to be increased multiple fold, which caused a ripple effect of um, products that were available. And um, it wasn't just then the uh, initial piece of artwork that they thought that they were kickstarting. It ended up with also having like... Uh, hoodies and um, prints and all sorts of things going with the items and so um, and and they were having production problems and they were having uh, some delays 
because of the hugeness of the order, um, you know, they they were thinking they were going to do a production run of a couple of thousand. Well, they're doing a production run of a couple of hundred thousand. Um, and that just caused all sorts of a ripple effect. And so I don't blame the creator. I really don't. But because my husband and I really spent more than probably we should have, but we've got all excited and we bought like everything. Um, ours is one going to be one of the last groups to ship because um, one of the items they're having troubles finding um, shipping that doesn't damage the product. Uh, some of the test runs that the artist said that he, he got samples sent to him, um, they came damaged, and he. So he's looking for a shipping solution that doesn't damage his product. And that has caused a delay. So because we ordered more than one thing and one of the things has this this difficult to ship item in it, um, our, our order has not shipped yet. Even though other people have got their initial Kickstarter item. Uh, the Kickstarter items uh, have have gone through. They're they're produced. They're ready to go. Um, but yeah, we were extra and bought all the things, and now we have to wait. Um, one of the other options was to then, you know, charge let the the smaller items get shipped at once and then charge an extra charge for shipping for the large item um, but he didn't think that that was fair he calculated his stuff for shipping with the large item so um, we just have to wait till the large items are ready to ship that's just the way it is but if the large items get shipped like they're supposed to and we get our package. Uh, it should be here before Christmas. And then we have Christmas gifts for most everyone on our list except for the little kids. Little kids are easy. Little kids are happy with just about anything. They really are. Give them a toy. Give them a game. They are happy. Littlest ones are getting books. Everybody's happy. I like that and I think instead of doing the same color again going the other way I may I may stick let me do the purple or the pink let's do the pink pink stands out more Just go the other direction with our lines. Da, 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 da. Yeah, I just don't like the Black Friday thing. And my guess is, and, and, and I know that one of the reasons I don't like the Black Friday thing is that I have worked on Black Friday for so many years that, you know, I just don't want to people after, after after working in the frenzy, I don't want to people after work. I just don't. I don't want to people. Just erase some of that. Where I got a little carried away. You guys probably can't even see that, but it came outside my line. But I can get rid of it with a little bit of black pen. It's 
So this is sort of a a crazy haphazard drawing. And that's sort of how I feel about Black Friday sales. Crazy and haphazard. Right? Absolutely. Just like that. Patchwork quill craziness. What would be the one thing that you would be willing to uh, go stand and camp out to get as a Black Friday thing? I'm just curious. Um, I know electronics is one of those things that a lot of people will stand for. But I can't. I, nothing's worth it. Like I said, my husband did it once for my son. And it was relatively recently. Um, I know, it's probably been like six or seven years. But in my mind, that's relatively recent. Um, he stood in line at Bass Pro Shop to get a barbecue smoker. That sounds silly when I say it out loud. It just sounds silly to me. Standing in line for anything for the, it's just, I just, I, it's never been my thing. I've never understood it. But where I worked, there was a Target next door and the people that would come into our store because they were waiting in line over at Target, and they would camp out overnight. I just didn't get it. And I think a lot of that frenzy has kind of ended just because stores aren't doing like they used to. They used to, like, open at midnight on Thanksgiving Eve or, or you know, opens at 6 a.m. or whatever. And now they started, they've already started Black Friday uh, ads where you don't have to wait for Black Friday to get the Black Friday deals, and so things are not quite as crazy. my battery I don't know I'm not blinking yet that's good I forgot to change my battery I usually change it after after I draw three videos and I've already drawn three this is number four and I'm surprised I still have battery because I forgot to change my battery oh well things are the way they are and I'm not gonna really harbor on them or just not not worth it you know there are some things in life that are just not worth worrying about yes there are big things in life that are worth worrying about but you know, things like this not worth worrying about if I run out of battery and my video stops in the middle Oh well, then you don't get a whole video. Just how it goes. But it's not blinking yet, so I think I'm alright. It's probably because that first one that I drew today, the one that you guys saw last week on Friday, was a short one. I might come in 
here. And I think I'm going to do a weird thing, and I am going to, first off, I'm going to put a little white pencil. I don't want Prismacolor. That's too bright. Um, I'm going to use Faber-Castell. That, that Prismacolor white is just like neon white. It's weird. It's got a lot of pigment. I don't want that much pigment. Okay, I want a little bit of white in here. Yeah. Oh, not sure I like that. No, I don't really like that. I thought I would like that, but let's let's see if I can get that up. Without getting the pen up. Uh, it's back, sort of. I think I am going to aura just inside these lines with black. I'm going to try something. I want a different pen, though. I want a big one of these. This brand. Because I don't want to clog up my good pens with um, this ink. But I think I'm going to aura just inside here. Like that. Can you guys even see that? Maybe it needs a brush pen. Maybe it needs a brush pen. Where's my cheap brush pen? This one. needs to be thicker like that. That's weird. Yeah, that's weird. That kind of goes with the whole frenzy of Black Friday. Something weird, unexpected. You're not expecting an aura. That just looks strange. Going for it. Going for the weirdness. We're going to embrace the weird. Why not? I need to do a question out of my book. Let's do a question out of the book so I have something to talk about. Uh, da, 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 I did those already. If you had to choose the single biggest mistake you have made in life so far, what would it be? You know what? Uh, I have made mistakes. Absolutely. 100% made mistakes. Uh, the one that is my biggest 
is one that will remain private. You know that? Sometimes there are things you just don't have to talk about. If you could throw a party in any existing interior space in the world, where would you have it? Um, let's have it. All sorts of places just popped into my head. Are you hearing me thinking? My silence is telling you that I'm thinking very hard. What interior space would I like to have a party at? Like if money was no object and that if the place would actually allow you to have a party there. Um... Most of the places that have come to mind have all been museums, weirdly enough. Um, I think the Smithsonian would be a cool place. You know, you know where it would be a cool place to have a party is, is the aquarium. Like the Aquarium of the Pacific. One of those ones that has the, the, the aquariums where there's like that tube. And, and the fish are surrounding you and you walk through the tube. That would be a cool place to have a party, wouldn't it? Yes. I, an aquarium is very similar to a museum. It's, it's, a, it's a museum of, of living creatures under the ocean under the water I think maybe the museum the aquarium of the Pacific would be a cool place to have a party I think they do do parties that's one of the places I think actually does a, a party my very first thought that came into my head was the Louvre I'm pretty sure they don't do parties darn sure okay let's see there we go got to get it at the right angle that's cool that that that's a good uh, frenzy thing uh, what was it yin cut was the inspiration let's do it here And maybe with, maybe if I turn off the light, will it get less shiny? No, that just makes it worse. Okay, because my, my, my camera is just going to, going to create, there we go. It more looks like that. Let's zoom in on that and make it at that angle. There we go. That's kind of what I want. Because in real life, I can see the um, the black that I did. But when I lay it down like that, it gets shiny. So i got to do it like that. All right. You guys have a great day. I will see you on the next video. Oh, look. If I block the... There. That's even better. All right, you guys have a great day. I will see you on the next video, uh, which will be Monday the 28th. That will be the next one. Um, 
Go out and do something nice for someone today. Do yourself a favor and buy somebody a lovely Christmas gift or buy yourself a lovely Christmas gift on this frenzied Friday. Um, or not. I won't be. Not unless there's something just I just have to have. But, you know, I, I don't need much in life. I would rather get experiences. I would rather travel. I would rather spend time with my family than have stuff at this point in my life. I've got enough stuff. I don't need more stuff. All right, you guys have a great day, and I will see you later. I'm trying to figure out how to do this and prop it at a good angle. Ay, ay, ay. All right, I need a thumbnail. Okay, you guys have a great day. Bye.